A circle is a closed curve on which every point is equally distant from a fixed point called the center. The distance from the center of the circle to any point on the outside of the circle is called the radius. A chord is a straight line segment that joins two points on the circle. In this example, line AB is a chord. Line CD is also a chord. Here is another example of a chord. Remember, a chord is a straight line that joins two points on the circle. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center of a circle. Circumference is the length of the curved line that forms the circle. An arc is the part of a circle between any two points on the circle. If we wanted to describe this arc that starts at point A and ends at point B, then this symbol is written above the letters and means arc. A tangent to a circle is a straight line that touches the circle at only one point. This line is tangent to the circle and touches the circle at this point. This line is called the tangent line. And the point where the circle touches the line is called the tangent point. A secant is a straight line that passes through a circle and intersects the circle at two points. A secant never ends on a circle. It only passes through two points on a circle. A segment is a figure formed by an arc and the cord joining the endpoints of the arc. This is arc ABC. And this is the cord joining the two endpoints of the arc. So, this is the segment. This shape is the shape that is formed by the arc and the cord that joins the endpoints of the arc. A sector is a figure formed by two radii and the arc intercepted by the radii. Remember that a radius, or radii, which is plural, are straight lines that connect the center of the circle with a point on the circle itself. This is radius MP. This is radius MR. This is the arc that intercepts the two radii. This is a sector. A central angle is an angle where the vertex is at the center of a circle and its sides are radii. These two radii create an angle here. This angle is at the center of the circle. So, this is a central angle. An inscribed angle is an angle in a circle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides are chords. This is chord RS. This is chord RT. The vertex angle is not found at the center of the circle, but on the circle itself. Angle SRT is an inscribed angle. We learn that circumference is the length of the curved line that forms a circle. To solve this length, we use the formula circumference equals 2 times pi times radius, or pi times diameter. 
What is pi? Remember that a circle is made of one continuous arc. A circle has an infinite number of points. Imagine drawing an inscribed polygon using chords where each vertex angle of the polygon is on one of those points on the circle. Let's start with the smallest polygon, a triangle. These three chords are of equal length. As the number of sides of the polygon increase, and where all the sides of the polygon are the same length, the polygon begins to look like a circle. As the number of sides of an inscribed polygon increases, the perimeter increases and approaches the circumference of the circle. An important relationship exists between the circumference and the diameter of a circle. Therefore, diameter must be known to solve circumference. As the number of sides of an inscribed polygon increases then, the perimeter of the polygon approaches a certain number times the diameter. Well, what is that certain number? That number is pi. In other words, an inscribed polygon with many sides begins to resemble the circle itself, and thus the measurement of the polygon's perimeter will be very close to the circumference of the circle. And we can find the length of that circumference by multiplying pi times the diameter of the circle.